Right now at 6, new details on the murder of a rabbi who was shot and killed while on his way to Temple. Investigators say they are narrowing in on a possible suspect, but they still need your help tracking him down. Local 10 News crime specialist John Turchin is live in Northeast Miami-Dade with what detectives need, John. Well, right now they've got several pieces in place. What they don't have is that one person to tie it all together. The one person who they know saw what happened and can actually take the person that they know was in the area and tie him to the shooting, place him right at that crime scene. From the get-go, they've been determined to find the two men who gunned down Rabbi Yosef Raxin, murdered while walking the temple during the Sabbath. Well, now Local 10 has learned detectives are making significant progress and are closing in on the people responsible. It doesn't make me feel better that they're closer. It will make me feel better when I see handcuffs and when I hear an arrest. I find it hard to believe that there, aren't, there are not several hundred people in somebody's community that know these two guys are murderers. According to my sources, investigators collected forensic evidence at the murder scene and along with some key eyewitness testimony and surveillance video from a homeowner that shows a man running from the area right after the shooting, detectives have narrowed their focus. My understanding is they're looking for somebody who has seen and can identify the individual at the crime scene. If it's not done properly and rushed, then the defense, a good defense attorney can get him out of the charges. But make no mistake, the local Jewish community is still on edge, especially amid the heightened tension in Israel and Gaza and the dramatic increase in anti-Semitic behavior here. As for security, patrols are sparse, quite a contrast to the police presence weeks ago. People only traveling in groups, careful about their surroundings. What kind of neighborhood am I living in? What is this? I have to look over my shoulder? Am I, uh, am I supposed to be afraid to wear a kippah? Why am I supposed to be afraid of my identity? Why should I be afraid to walk the streets? What have I done to you? And that is a prevailing feeling right now. There is still quite a bit of fear here. It's a very sensitive subject to these folks that live in this area. And tonight, it's not going to get any easier because this will be the third Sabbath, the third set of services, Friday night services, that this community will have since the shooting happened. And people will be walking these streets in just about an hour on their way to Temple and are hoping to feel safe in doing so. There are plenty of police officers out here, but one other thing, if you're that person that knows something, there are 50,000 reasons to make that phone call. There's a $50,000 reward being offered. In North Miami Beach, I'm John Turchin, Local 10 News.